All right, guys, it is Monday. That means it's Joe's All-Star Tool Monday. He's back with the only dependable tool truck that he owns. So let's see what Joe's got. Let's do it. So guys, how y'all doing? I hope y'all had a good weekend. November weather, I love it. Yeah. We, we could have more of this. I think it's going to change real quick, but that's what it is. <laughs> it's nice out here today. Hey, um, cool breeze. So, anyways, uh, every day is a good day. You know, you, you know Thanksgiving's coming up, so I always got to be thankful for every day. Um, so that'll get me to something in a minute. But okay. anyways, we're going to start with uh, some conniptics. Okay. So, this has been the good all tried and true as far as battery cable cutter, harness cutter. Yep. Um, and my guys at uh, Junkyards, they, they love the heck out of these. Right. But they have come out with a new step grip for the same tool. Step cut. Step cut. Yep. And you can see the different ridges for the cuts. And even on the other side where it pulls it in. And what does it, like taking lots of little bites to make the big bite. Yep. Nice and easy. It's a little bit longer. It gives it, uh, it's easier to make the reach. They're not having to push against it right. with two hands. Um, so far, it, this has been a winner. The guys have been liking it. Sure. Um, Those so, step cuts were definitely a revolution in cutting the way they work. It is. Um, Instead of one big chunk, it's, it's like it's taking 50 little bites. It makes cutting yep. thick wire or multi-strand wire so much easier. Yep, it's amazing. So that says, you get a good close-up of the jaws of that thing. Definitely a it neat says, design. It says, don't cut steel, but people are thinking uh, fingers were okay because <laughs> it's not steel. I says, I'm pretty sure it'll go through bone pretty oh, easy I too. I guarantee you, buddy. Woo. Now the other week, I did not have the the twin grip in the large size, but all my other ones have been disappearing. But, you know, as these here, being a pliers, they, they step over just like a regular pliers. you got the, the big ones I didn't realize as I was waiting for them, didn't want to open the big box, but it has multiple positions right. so you can put it in. I mean, and people in Germany, they think I like it. Sure. So it works like the Cobra. Let me see if I can get up here close that way you guys can see. Open it up, not let them see the, you see the little jaw markings that they have there. So it works kind of like the a cobra, cobra slip cobra jaw. design with the teeth on there. It's pretty so cool. You can place it where you need it as far as size. So, so far we found for my cable clamp players, especially with the wire groove, it, it fits, works real good. Uh, Guys have found that uh, this here groove for pulling out button heads also works very good for pulling stuff out of tires. Sure, yeah. Um, I figured that out with the first set. We kept having semi-trailers. Of course, you know how it is. The loading docks has always got nails on it and shit that fall off the trailers when they're yes. unloading them. And you'd always have a bunch of nails and screws and just crap on trailer tires. And those twin grips, those teeth, man, it makes it man, so much easier. It makes it so much out. easier to pull stuff out. Yeah. Um, anything that makes your job a little bit easier, quicker, Absolutely. makes you money. So that's a larger size, a little bit more in depth on that. Right. And uh, I've been going through a lot of these as well. Having different options is worth its weight in gold. And that's it, really what makes a perfect toolbox is, you know, if this one won't work, you know, you got two or three other options to. And, and Kinevix makes three piece sets of these, three yep. pieces of the Cobras, three pieces of so many of their sets. Sure. They they know that. Absolutely. I got the uh, Gray Pneumatic quarter inch drive deep magnetic sockets. Okay. Now, what's nice with these is it's spring loaded. Yeah. So it takes them from being a short to actually being a true deep socket. Okay. It's uh, five millimeter, has a five and a half, goes all the way to 15. Sweet. So. And those are quarter inch drive? Quarter inch drive. Nice. And they are nice. I 
Of course, we got some Vim. We got the three-piece spring-loaded crow's foot. Yep. Now we had the big one with the big Vim uh, uh, wrench extender. Mm -hmm. That thing was a monster, but uh, all the same, same purpose. Yep. So you everything. Four, three eighths and half inch drive yep. on that one. And. You know, they all give you the range, 5 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, or 8 millimeter to 17 with the 3 eighths. Yep. I mean, yeah, you just don't want that to grip. It'll... It'll tire something up. It, it'll take your finger. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then one of my favorites here, and a lot of people have become, uh, this has become their favorite go-to set, it is the Vim Impact 50. Yep. Now, impact grade, you got your um, fraction and metric Allens, you got your um, triple square, you have your Torx, your Torx Plus, some regular screwdriver bits, but uh, that is a serious hunk of metal. Yep. And it's all one piece, and it's all designed so there's no sharp corners, no weak points mm -hmm. in here. They're all made of S2 steel. So yes. That's a and plus. what I tell somebody, I tell them when they lose something, because gonna be, they're going to be hard-pressed to break something, but I got guys that'll break, you know, they'll break something. They break their own fingers, you know, they, they just <laughs> do. You QR code, yep. this, Q, this code here, I'll give you a part number for whatever is missing. Sure. And then you just call me up, say, hey, look, I need this here part number, and sure enough, it'll give you what it is. There you go. So... Tim really oh, has done some, some thinking on it, that. Right? Cause like the funny thing is like you could have three people call you and say, like if you open this case, I'll give you an example. Yeah. So let's say this one's missing, right? Yeah. So you'd have some people that say, send me the third one from the right on the third row. Well, you don't know if they're talking about from the top down third row or the bottom up, which this one happens to be oh. in the center, either one, but yeah. like, so, so if we really did this hard, one, yeah. sure you know to figure out exactly what they need and with that qr code they can scan it it gives you call an, you and bam there's a gives you an exact part, part number. number for so that is easy easy that's easy. truly a great set i mean they yep. work that's true and when your tools work for you you don't have to <laughs> that's right that's i mean that's that's a key there you go i have one more i got a couple uh okay Bucket of cash, I forgot to pull out here. Right. Give me one second. Y'all look how full Joe's got this truck. That's really dark up in there. Hopefully I can kind of make out, but it is from front to back, all the way up. But like there's no way Joe could find all this stuff in there. No way. I'm getting around to see a little better now. There you go. It's full. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Absolutely full in there, Joe. It's in there from front to back. Yep. We have Mr. Robert Bolander. We don't get to hear him very often, but he's always in there. Okay. We have uh, Mr. Marcus Owens. And we have Mr. Gabe Hathcock. There you go. So, there's three Buggets there. filling up. Won't but be long. I want to give a special mention, and I want to hope I get, get your name right here. It helps if I, if I see it. Mr. Gabe Alvarado. Alvarado. I'm supposed to tell you, yeah, he made it. Um, I think it's Utah. He had a serious head on, car crash. Oh, no. He doesn't, he really tries not to talk about it, but uh, he, serious head injury. Yeah. Um, something about going back to work uh, this week, so. Guy's wow. gone through a lot. I mean, uh, I never thought he would. They never thought he was going to pull out of the hospital. Right. So, uh, Mr. Gabe, a lot of power to you. Um, he says he's still got some memory loss, but he's working on that. But uh, he yep. wanted me to tell you, Clay, that uh, he's made it. And, okay. Uh, things are good. Things are looking up. And so, always something to be thankful. I'll see you. Um, and so, Gabe, 
I wish you the best, and as you know, anything I do for you. There you go. Everybody, have a great week. Keep safe. We got many more uh, weeks and days to go, and uh, it's just the beginning. That's right. All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us on this Monday. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, super simple. You take hit your that finger, button. click the button. It's totally free. Don't cost you a dime. You guys have a great week. See ya.